Hey guys, Mr. Pilo here, and today we have a gameplay of some sort. I'm doing this country before I've actually got any gameplay. It's something I kind of like doing, to be fair, because then you have you can just talk about anything you want, to be fair. Um, so yeah, basically, in today's commentary, I am going to be talking to you about two things, and the first one being um, that there may be a Battlefield Bad Company TV show being made in America. Now, I heard, I read up on an article that it's being made by Fox. So, yeah, that's one downside, I guess. Actually, no, because Fox have family guys, so I guess it's going to be a good. It's going to be good. And plus, um, the comedy in Bad Company series is really funny. So, I don't know. If they if they make it, like, an actual person, like, actual people, it could, it could work. I think it would work best if it was animated and they actually used... Like, the animators at DICE to do it or something, but, yeah, oh well. And if you can hear a helicopter, it's because I live near a place which has a lot of helicopters going over it all the time. But, uh, apart from that, um, so, yeah, the Bad Company series. I mean, to, to be perfectly honest with you, I would up rather a new game. Um, well, I've said this before. I said I'd rather a new Bad Company game um, before Battlefield 4, but they seem to be rushing it. Uh, to be fair, I think it's EA trying to saturize the game it's going to turn into Call of Duty, you can just tell um, oversaturized but anyway, don't want to get into that um, so yeah so they're going to, there's possible rumours or even yeah, rumours at the moment as it is, there's rumours at the moment that there could possibly be a bad company TV series, now that would be pretty awesome to watch to be fair, I mean I'd actually have to um, be a internet derp and have to illegally get it but you know what you're gonna do living in the uk can suck sometimes but most time it's actually awesome we have free healthcare, yay but anyway um on to the second thing now the second thing i was going to talk to you guys about um is something that microsoft actually put up onto their xbox no, xbox microsoft put up onto their website like um the other day and it said basically that had a list of about, I think it was 15 games that, you, that Xbox have all the rights to, and if you put them onto the internet, you will get copyrighted strikes and copyright notices and everything like that. Um, stuff like the main one out of all of that was Halo, any Halo title. Now, unless you're part of a network, which unfortunately I'm not, you're kind of screwed in that department. Um, I don't make Halo videos, so I'm, I'm happy. I don't really mind to be fair. If you do make Halo videos and you're not part of a network, I would strongly suggest, if you can, try and get part of a network so that your videos don't get, like, pissed on by Microsoft and Xbox. So you don't say, oh, no, that's our content. Give it here. Um, I know that MLG have exclusive rights to stream Halo 4 and all of that lot, and people like Machinima and everything, they have rights and that because they're massive companies and they'll easily be able to get in contact with all these companies and get the rights for it. Um, obviously they would have to pay for them, um, but they want to expand and they want to be able to bring people the latest content daily, so that is what they've got to do, to be fair. I mean, they gain a lot of money from it as well, so I don't really think they would mind. However, this will probably end up affecting the smaller YouTube community, because what if other big companies such as Activision and EA and that lot decide, oh, we're going to do exactly the same thing. And then, basically, only networked people will be able to post gameplays of them doing it. And to be fair, if you watch someone for a certain amount of time, they do end up getting boring. Um, because it's just the same old stuff, to be fair. Um, so, it will get repetitive, but eh, it's the time we're living in, people are getting more pissy about their material. So, if only this happened about... Well, if only the internet happened about 100 years ago, life would be so much better. You can just tell. But anyway, um, that's it really for this commentary. I hope you have enjoyed it. So till next time, see you guys and peace.